Yesterday I went to a Motorola event near Tower Bridge in London. It was great to get to go to such an event so thank you very much for that gift gaff. There was two announcements made, an upgrade on the Motorola G and a brand new phone, the Motorola E. The spec of these will be covered in much more detail on the blog in videos very soon. The Motorola G is a great performing smartphone for anyone on a budget and it's just had an upgrade. After listening to customers and making some improvements, there's now a 4G model available with a micro SD slot, meaning expandable storage on top of the eight or 16 gigabyte models available. Unlocked and SIM free from 149 pounds. There's a big focus on software for Motorola. They Claim they're the fastest in the industries to get software updates out there for their phones. Which use pure Android, there's no skin to slow down member experience like you can get on some low to mid market smartphones. The Motorola E was announced yesterday with the slogan made to last, priced for all. An even cheaper smartphone focusing on build quality, style, power and software. It definitely seems aimed at first time smartphone buyers as an easy and good value way to make the switch. In the announcement, it was compared to the Samsung Galaxy Fame as they're in a similar place in the market. Compared to the Fame, the E has 52% more battery, a 23% larger screen at 4.3 inches, which is 55% brighter. They even claim that the E can launch its camera 1.7 seconds faster than the Samsung Galaxy S4. It has Gorilla Glass, is flash resistant, and has a guaranteed major Android update. All seem very impressive with a low price of £89, unlocked and SIM free. There's a new feature at the Motorola Alert which debuts with the Motorola E, allowing you to notify designated friends and family of your location. This could be helpful if you need to let someone know that you've got home safely or where you need to be picked up from if you're getting a lift. There's also an emergency mode with an alarm and a pre-decided number to call. I've seen a few safety apps around recently and I think they're a great concept. It's really good to see an established brand recognise as potential new use for smartphones. It could be helpful for peace of mind about elderly parents or any teenage kids. With the current average price of a smartphone being £272, they are considered a luxury. Do you think that these two budget-friendly announcements could help change the face of the market a little bit? Let me know what you think, let's discuss this in the blog comments. I've been Zoe vlogging for GIFGAF, until next time. Yeah.